Netflix and Amazon Prime, two of the biggest players in the subscription video on demand market, they find themselves locked in a global battle for supremacy. Amazon was started in 1994 by Jeff Bezos, initially as an online bookstore. It would soon expand to offer other products and services. It was listed in 1997 at $18 a share, giving it a market capitalization of $438 million. That same year, Netflix was launched by Reed Hastings and Mark Randolph. The DVD by mail rental service would go in to disrupt traditional video rental shops in the US. It listed at $15 a share in 2002, with a market cap of $309 million. The company introduced streaming some 10 years later, with its international expansion starting in 2010. By the end of that year, it had risen more than 2,000% from its IPO levels. Amazon launched its rival service, Prime Instant Video, the following year, and also bought Love Film, a European Netflix competitor that offered DVD by mail and streaming services. By this time, its shares had risen by almost 12,000%. While Amazon grew its user base, Netflix suffered a major hiccup when it rebranded its DVD by mail business as Quickster, requiring customers to take out a second subscription to maintain access to both its company's services. Though it quickly reversed the decision, it ended up by losing 800,000 subscribers as a result of the debacle, with its shares losing more than two-thirds of their value. Over the next few years, both companies grew rapidly and pushed streaming into new territories, their share prices reaching new highs. And in 2013, both launched their first original programs, available exclusively to each service's subscribers. Three years later, Amazon and Netflix both made their streaming services available worldwide. Netflix ended 2017 with more than 109 million subscribers globally, while Amazon was estimated to have 90 million Prime subscribers in the US alone. But this rapid growth has come at a price. The companies have prioritized investment over profitability, taking on billions of dollars in debt to fund their expansion. Despite this, both have seen their share prices rise dramatically in the years since they introduced streaming. Though, of course, Prime Video represents only a small portion of Amazon's business. But will Netflix and Amazon Prime continue to grow? Or could we see new players such as Apple or Google take market share? If you want to see more videos like this, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to IG.